Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's Destiny Child video, everyone, we are going to be overviewing the final event parts of the Lisa's upcoming schedule calendar here on the Destiny Child moot page. And we do have a narrative dungeon actually coming after the current Kalarachri Rag and the Break event. We all can see it here, the Demonic Interfering View event. The Water Type Child will be introduced, of course, as you can see here, featured on the left-hand side of the calendar in the Water Type Debuffer Harpy which we will discuss her kits later on in the video today. But before we do so, we'll be heading on to the Destiny Child Japanese blog and giving a rundown of what they did receive with the Narrative Dungeon event and what the global side could expect with this upcoming event. So without any further ado, let's dive into the Japanese blog and check out what they did receive with the Harpy Narrative Dungeon. Alright everyone, as you can see we do have the update note brought up here on the screen from the Japanese side of Destiny Child. As you can see we do have Harpy featured on this graphic here. So there she is and I believe her Before Awakening costume. And if we do scroll down here we do have the Demonic Interfering View Narrative Dungeon. As you can see the icon here as well as Harpy showcased once more. Next up here everyone we do have Harpy in her Before Awakening costume shown up here on the screen. So there she is and you will summon her up just like this. As for the spa costume there is Harpy featured as well. So of course as you can see we will definitely have a guaranteed upon summoning for the newest 5 star water type debuffer in Harpy. As well as you can see here her skill sets of course what we can gather from this is that she is a 5 star water type debuffer as I did say early on in the video. Now we'll overview her kits in just a moment but we do have her drive skill animation here so let's do check it out right now. So there was the drive skill animation for Harpy. Overall, it does look pretty cool as it does showcase the handcuffs she does have on her live 2D animation. So overall, a pretty nice drive skill there I would say for Harpy and it does seem fitting for her design. Next up here, we do have the additional guaranteed upon summoning that should be arriving with the Harpy event in the Sir Ketz banner. So of course, upon summoning a 5 star unit, you will be guaranteed Sir Ketz here on this specific banner. Now of course, this is all subject to change, so we'll have to see if they do decide to switch it up on her global port. We also do have here a dual pickup summit between Harpy and Sir Cat. So of course, both 5 star childs here featured on this banner. And they did also introduce a 5 star debuffer summon. Now I'm not sure if we'll receive this one as well, but just something to note that they did receive on the Japanese side of the game. So that'll pretty much do it for the update note here on the Japanese side of Destiny Child. But next up here, let's overview her kit and see what we could expect when she does port over to the global side. All right, everyone. So here is RP featured on the Japanese Rice Mind blog. Of course, I'll be sure to link the links to this website and of course to the Destiny Child Japan blog in the description box below if you guys would like to check out the update note as well as her skill set here on this amazing website. But there is Harpy showcased in her After Awakening costume on the left hand side of the screen. So of course after you do awaken her to S class, this is how she'll be showcased in her S rank costume. Next up here we do have the kits of course, the 5 star water type of debuffer. As for the tiers here currently on the Japanese side of the game, PvE here, she is a tier 7, PvP a tier 8, Aragona Break tier 6, and World Boss tier 6. As for the auto attack damage, we do have 102 auto attack damage here, and next up here, we do have the tap skill, which does deal 398 damage to a random enemy, as well as minus 18% remove skill charge, remove a certain amount of skill charge to two highest attack enemies. As for the slide skill here, we do have 690 damage to two priority lowest HP enemies, 105 stigma continuously deal damage in proportion to the number of buffs on the enemy for 20 seconds to two priority lowest HP enemies plus 50 buff absorption absorb remove one enemy buff and charge drive gauge to two priority lowest HP enemies drive skill here 2065 damage to three random enemies and 80% chance of silence cannot use skills and skill reset and reset skill charge cooldown time is fixed while in cooldown 
for 5 seconds to 3 random enemies. Last but not least here, the leader skill minus 15% skill charge rate reduces skill gauge charge rate to all enemies plus 1 exhaustion increase slide skill cooldown to all enemies pvp only so overall there is the kits for harpy our upcoming water type debuffer as you can see she is more pvp oriented so another narrative dungeon in which we do have a pvp character introduced now as you can see she is rated currently in 8 in pvp on japan so overall she is a pretty decent debuffer she does have the minus 18 percent remove skill charge here on the tap skill and of course this is applied to the two highest attack enemies so this will be pretty nice if you are trying to remove the skill charge from the enemy and you can get in your slide before they can so basically tap with harpy here and it will remove minus 18 percent of the skill charge from the enemy team prioritizing the highest attackers so you can have a better chance of getting your slide off ultimately winning the battle as for her slide skill here, of course, she does have Stigma, which does have a damage over time effect, basically, based on the current number of buffs on the enemy for 20 seconds to 2 priority lowest HP enemies. So this will target the lowest HP enemies and, of course, their corresponding buffs. So depending on the number of buffs they do have, the damage will scale. And we also do have the buff removal here on the slide skill as well to two priority lowest HP enemies. As well as the drive skill here with a 80% chance to silence to three random enemies. And the leader skill here applying more slow here as you can see the minus 15% skill charge rate. And of course the plus one cooldown added to the slide skill cooldown to all enemies PvP only. Overall I would say she's a pretty promising debuffer. And I would expect to see her float around a bit in the Devil Rumble. Not going to say she will be meta changing at all. But if you would like to get your hands on this unit and try her out, she doesn't seem to be a bad character at all for your Devil Rumble team. Of course, she does have tons of slow, so you can probably win PvP battles pretty easily with this unit's Harpy on your team. But overall, in my opinion, I would agree with the rating here on the Japan site. I would put her sort of at an 8, maybe a 7 at the lowest. Of course, we do have to take into account her ignition. We can actually check it out here on the Rice Mine Japan site as well. She does have plus 1 exhaustion here on the tap skill when ignited to two highest attack enemies so this is pretty good here on the ignition side hoping this does port over the same to the global version as for the slide skill here we do have the stigma being applied to three enemies upon being ignited and the buff absorption applied to three lowest hp enemies as well here on the slide so pretty nice scales here of course it does have an additional enemy applied to the slide skill here towards the stigma and the buff absorption we also do have the drive skill here with the 85 percent chance to silence and the leader skill does stay the same so with ignition i would say she is a bit better the tap skill here of course does gain a ton of power with the plus one cooldown to two highest attack enemies but overall she still does stand as a pretty decent debuffer for the pvp side of the game and definitely one you'll want to obtain at least from the narrative dungeon and if you would like to try on her guaranteed upon summoning banner next up here everyone before we do end off this video let's check out the live 2d animations here of harpy first up here we do have her before awakening costume as well as her live 2d animation and next up here, as we have seen on the Rice Man Japan sites, we do have the After Awakening costume here of Breakout's Harpy. Next up here, we do have the Human costume here for Harpy as well. And last but not least here, we do have the Hot Spring costume here for Harpy as well. But anyways everyone that'll pretty much do it for today's destiny child video here and of course the preview of our upcoming narrative dungeon featuring carpy the newest five star water type debuffer now make sure to let me know in the comment section below what your opinion is on harpy and of course if you'll be deciding to summon for her 
and tossing her onto your PvP team as well. But before you go everyone, if you did enjoy today's Destiny Child video, make sure to leave a like on this one. And of course, if you haven't yet done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you would like to stay notified for more Destiny Child videos here on the channel, as well as live streams here as well. But with all of that being said, I'll see you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always, thank you all so much for watching.